Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The moon pays a visit to the two brightest planets and start your Mars race to Regulus Watch now. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. On May 9th and 10th, the moon pays a visit to the second brightest planet, Jupiter. And on the 15th and 16th, pays a visit to the brightest planet, Venus. Plus, you can watch Mars race toward Leo the Lion's brightest star all month long. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for this Sunday morning, May 9th, an hour before sunrise, facing east, where your breath will be taken away by an exquisite pairing of a 25-day-old waning crescent moon and the largest planet, 88,000-mile-wide Jupiter. And believe me, you'll be most impressed by this pairing. But if you miss it, the following morning, Monday, May 10th, an even skinnier crescent moon will be parked just off to the left of Jupiter in a not quite as close but still exquisite pairing. Don't miss either of these pairings, please. Sunday, May 9th and Monday, May 10th. And if you like this pairing of the second brightest planet on the moon, you'll be even more dazzled, methinks, by the pairing of the brightest planet and the moon on the following weekend of the 15th and 16th. Indeed, simply look west-northwest about 45 minutes after sunset, Saturday the 15th, and a tiny slender sliver of a waxing crescent moon, complete with earth shine, will look like a blackish gray full moon nestled within it, will be parked just down and to the right of dazzling, bewitching, earth-sized 8,000 mile wide Venus, which is the kind of pairing depicted in art throughout human history. But if you miss it on Saturday, don't fret, because on Sunday the 16th, a slightly fatter crescent moon will be up on the other side of Venus, up and to its left. Two wonderful pairings, Saturday the 15th and Sunday the 16th. But there's more, because if you look about halfway up the western sky, you will see a rouge gold object, which is tiny 4,000 mile wide Mars. It is just down and to the right of the sickle-shaped pattern of stars, which makes up the front of Leo the Lion, with Leo's brightest star, Regulus, marking Leo's heart. Now, on the 15th and 16th, Mars will be about 10 and a half degrees away from Regulus. And since a full moon is one half a degree wide, that means we could fit 21 full moons between them. But now here is where the fun comes in. Because if you go out and look up at Mars and Regulus night after night, all throughout May, you will be able to watch Mars move closer and closer toward Regulus. By Memorial Day, it will be only three and a quarter degrees away from Regulus, which means that only six and a half more moons would fit between them. But the best is yet to come, because ta-da, on June 5th and 6th, Mars and Regulus will have a super close meeting and will be less than one degree apart, which means that we could barely fit one full moon between them, which is super close, astronomically speaking. Wow! So, start your Mars race to Regulus watch now, and don't miss the great moon and planet pairings on the 9th and 10th, and the 15th and 16th. Keep looking up! Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.